Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been so long since I have recorded. I pre-filmed a bunch of videos and now I feel a bit out of practice, but that is part of the fun, I'm sure. So this is going to be a two-part video, and this is obviously part one. Um, and in this video I am going to show you how I would just do a nice, neutral, simple day look. And I'm going to be using the Naked palette for the eyes. And then in part two I am going to continue with the Naked palette and transform the look into a nighttime look. Um, so good for if you're going out after work, work drinks or something. Um, so keep an eye out for that as well. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified when that video is up. Um, and if you want to see how I did the day look, then stay tuned. So I've done my foundation and concealer and powdered it. Um, and I'm just going to start with a really, really light bronzer. Oh, throw it around. And this is just because I'm already so pale. <laughs> um, and once I've put on all my foundation and stuff, uh, it just completely flattens everything and I just look two dimensional, it's not good. So just going to ever so slightly kind of bronze around the uh, perimeters of my face, a little bit of contour. Not heaps, like just really, really, oh my god, I'm throwing it around, what is wrong with me? Um, yeah, just a little bit, just to warm my face. I'm going to go in with a blush. This is Dim Infusion from Hourglass. Um, and this is a really nice, I mean, okay, you can wear this at night time too, but I just love, love, love this colour. So just pop on, however you like your blush, I'm just kind of popping it on the slightly higher up on my cheek not so much my apple and kind of further back trying new things with my blush these days and then just for a little bit of highlight um, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Candlelight Powder just because it's not like super glittery and um, it's not disco ball or anything and it's just yeah just lightens things up a bit so just pop that on top of my cheekbones because this one is not super glittery, you can kind of put this just about everywhere. So I'm just using the Urban Decay um, uh, Primer Potion and popping that all over my eyelids. And taking that bit underneath as well. For the eyes, I'm going to use the Naked Palette just because I know a lot of people have it and if you don't have it you've probably got colours very similar um, that you can work with to achieve the same kind of look. So in case you couldn't guess, <laughs> I'm going to start off with Naked, which is kind of like, it's pretty much the same as Wedge from MAC. Just a nice crease colour of course, and just taking that on a fluffy brush. And just lightly, lightly running that through the crease like that. And this just helps give a little bit more definition to the eye, makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional than it already is. <laughs> and using that fluffy brush just helps it be really blown out like that and not like, you know, a harsh line like a pencil or something. I'm going to take Sin, the second one in the palette, just on an eyeshadow... Um, brush obviously just on a paddle brush don't forget to tap off your excess so you don't get too much fallout on your face and I'm just going to press that all over the mobile lid so just up to the crease where um, that naked color starts then I'm going to take virgin on a really small brush and just pop that right on the inner tear duct area. And you can bring that along the lower lash line just a tiny bit. Um, and on a pencil brush, I'm going to just take Toasted. It's got a similar like pinky 
mauvey tone to sin as well. Just really, really, really lightly. Just run that on the outer like third of the lower lash line and then just super, super lightly push it into the crease. And then go back with a blending brush and just on that top crease just blend out that toasted colour just a wee bit and on the bottom. So that's all I'm going to do for the eyeshadow for the day look. Um, where's my mascara? So I'm not going to do any eyeliner or anything for the day look, um, just keep it like that and then once you've got your mascara on it just looks nice and fresh. So we'll go with the mascara now. I am using the Rimmel Volume Flash Scandalize Mascara today. And this is just a really good, you know, daytime sort of look. I mean daytime mascara. It doesn't go, it doesn't give you like super crazy lashes, you know. They're just a little, you know, they're blackened a wee bit, a wee bit of length and a wee bit of volume, nothing crazy. So that's that for the eyes, um, but I am going to do my brows of course, as always. So just do your brows however you normally like to do them. I just don't like to have not filled in brows. Alright. Lips. So whenever I do my makeup I will put some lip balm on. Um, today I use the EOS in Tangerine. Um, before I start doing any makeup. So I'll put that on and then I'll prime and foundation and so on. Just so that by the time I get to doing my lips, my lipstick, um, they're, you know, soft and it's soaked in a bit. And if there is any excess that's going to make your lipstick slide off, just, you know, dab it with a tissue or rub it in or whatever you like. So for my lips with this um, day look, I am going to go in with the e.l.f. Moisturising Lipstick in Pink Minx. Um... So this has got a bit of colour to it, it's not, you know, totally like nude or pale or anything like that, but it's nothing crazy like a bright fire truck red or something. I'm not even going to line them. Um, I find these lipsticks stay in place really well so I don't feel the need to like line them or use a reverse lip liner um, not with a neutral colour like this anyways and then so this is a semi matte finish um, you can go in with a gloss I'm not going to bother I kind of like it like this um, and that is it for the day let me a thumbs up if you like this and stick around don't forget to subscribe because in a few days there will be part two of this video where i will be transforming this into a night look